Hey guys, welcome back to Eric Reacts with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. This is Muerte Piñata. Uh, I'm guessing we're doing Yami versus Melvin right now, but I'm not completely sure. Let's dive into it. Oh. By the time you finish watching this episode, our YouTube account will probably be taken down. Oh no. See ya! Hey you, what's the big idea just walking out in the middle of my door with Kaiba? I'm sorry, Joey. <laughs> I had to deal with a very annoying subplot. What did I miss? Oh, uh, well, I, I totally beat him. Yeah, I was, uh, I beat the guy. I beat Kaiba. That's what happened. Really? How did you overcome his various dragon-themed <laughs> stratagems? Uh, time will let go. Nice. That's what I would have what? done, too. Yeah. Yes, you must be so proud of beating Kaiba and winning the coveted bronze medal. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. <laughs> Oh man. I'm proud of you <laughs> winning, Joey. You're my hero. Get the f up, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> He's still laughing. Bronze <laughs> medal. That's funny. Oh man. What's up, Father Muckers? Father Muckers? I'm going to enjoy Father Muckers. And I'm going to enjoy beating you in a trading card game, thereby preventing you from doing anything evil ever again. This from really? the guy who had slaves built in his very own pyramid. Uh. That was a birthday gift from me to me. And besides, my slaves were treated okay. extremely well. Only half of them died from excess whipping. The rest died from overexposure. I was a very well, merciful guy. Trust me, I won't be. Yugi, use this card to defeat Merrick. Ah! Do you have to throw them like that? Really? Yes! Oh, yes, Kaiba. I see what you mean. I will definitely be able to defeat Merrick with this card. Nice. Really? I'm going to win. I'm going to win with the card that Kaiba gave me. Yes! <laughs> I mean, um, this card is lame. Lame card. Why would you give me such a lame card, Kaiba? What were you thinking with such a lame idea? You lame-o. Stupid. Stupid lame-o. Kaiba, I think he's buying it. You have such a good poker face, Yugi. Yes, I do. Oh my god. What's poker? It's what it's I'll poker. be running into your lower intestines when I'm done with you. Not that kind of poker. Game, okay. Ew. <laughs> I don't even need to look at my cards while I shuffle them, Fado. Neither do I, Maddock. I'm so <laughs> good at this. And you dropped a few cards. No, uh. I didn't. I'm extremely competent. Yes. Look oh at my, my nimble fingers. You should probably watch what you're doing. King of games, bitch. Once you were the king of games, oh, now you'll eat humble pie. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, my God. The music. Kaiba. For a what? Giving the Fado your card was an incredible display of faith. You finally believe he is destined to defeat my brother. I believe that about as much as I believe that there is a minimum wage for my employees. Look at Shizu. Wow. Yugi is no pharaoh. I can't allow myself to accept that. Why? Because you don't believe in magic? No. I just don't believe in people who are richer and more powerful than me. <laughs> beat that Merrick creep, yo. They don't yeah, exist. Beat him like Joey beat Kaiba. What? Nothing. Swing it oh, swing what? Realm. Say hello to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Oh boy, this again. You know, it's really more of a purple realm than a shadow realm. Since I'm about to end you, Pharaoh. Shadows aren't really known for being purple. Silence! I'm just saying. I think it's only appropriate that I remind you what you're fighting for. Say hello to my Valentine. Yeah. Oh no. Hello, my. Yeah. Oh, Hi, my. And now be my next victim. victim. Your very own hetero life mate. Yugi Moto. Yugi, you have your own body. Merrick must be using fanfic powers. He truly fanfic is our most evil adversary. Adversary? Ad adversary. Advers advers adversary. He He's a dick. My weaker self oh is also God. at stake in this duel. Oh no. <laughs> I know, Bacara. Don't eat your spaghetti with your mouth open. It gets everywhere. <laughs> Told you not to do that. If one of us loses, we'll be sacrificing our other halves to the Shadow Realm. Purple Realm. Whoa. Silence! I'm just saying. Then try this on for size. Vampiric Leech. Attack the Venom directly. <laughs> My what? Leg. My ballet career is ruined. Stop being so adversarial, Merrick. 
adversarial. Here's it right. No, you gotta write. Stop being a dick, Marek. With every life point you lose, you gotta write the first time. Suffers. I don't believe you. What? You're trying to psych me out, Marek, but it won't work. My ping pong career is ping ruined. Pong. I think I would know if Yugi was in pain. I'm oh my god. So much pain. I feel everything he feels. We are soulmates. I can feel my soul wasting away. We oh, are no. closer than even the most intimate of lovers. I want a divorce. <laughs> I promised you pinatas, Fero. Now, let's see how many times I have to strike yours before delicious candy falls out. Blast! Is the tongue <laughs> thing really necessary? I I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. <laughs> Jeez, you're like an evil Gene Simmons. Correction, you're like Gene, Gene Simmons. Simmons. Prepare for your destruction, fellow. I have a name, you know. Really? What is it? I don't know. I know exactly what Marek's doing. He's setting Yugi up so that he can summon his winged dragon of Ra. It's the same strategy that he used in his duel with me. Only this time I don't know I don't know, know, if know it's what Marek's to... up to, but he won't be able to stop me once I've summoned Slifer the- Wait, who is that? Kaiba! Is that you? Yeah, I was just in the middle of an inner monologue. Oh, you have monologue. those two all the time. What do you think I'm doing when we're dueling and I'm just standing there not <laughs> talking for like ten minutes? I always just assumed you were really slow. Look, just try not to interrupt my inner monologue. I don't know what Merrick's up to, oh but what God. I do know is that I'm really hungry and I could go for some French fried potatoes, maybe some hot dogs, some mustard, and Tristan. What? Wait, Wait your, your turn. turn. We're, We're in a monologuing. Oh, you guys do that too? Yes. I always thought you were just really slow. Now watch as I unleash my great oh, yeah. beast, the Winged Dragon of Ra! Flying Was chicken. You give up because you have no chance against my god card? I didn't say that. What's that? I'm much better at this game than you ever were. I would never say that or <laughs> think it. And you're going to pull down your pants and let me spank you when I've won? How are you even getting that from what I'm saying? Are you drunk? Because that's the only way it would sound like I'm saying those things. Either that or you're crazy. Oh, that's right. I forgot who I was dueling for a second. I now sacrifice all but one of my life points to merge with Ra. What? Raising its attack points. What? Now all you can do is watch as you and your partner are banished to the Shadow Realm. Purple Realm. Silence! I'm just saying. Honestly, you are this close to being thrown to the shadows. You mean thrown to the purples. Silence! I'm just saying. Pharaoh, you have to draw the card that Kaiba gave you. But how, how? Yugi? The odds of me doing that are like a billion to one. No, Believe not. in the heart of the cards. The heart of the what? The heart of the cards. Doesn't ring a bell. We've been talking about it for three seasons. Oh, okay. Uh, what does it look like? What? I need to picture it in my head. Is it an actual heart? No, it's not a literal heart. It's more of an idea. Sorry, Yugi. I'm from ancient Egypt. We believe in very specific real-life things, like giant red dragons with two mouths, right. or the idea that a strange dog person waits for us in the afterlife so that he can weigh our souls with a cheap kitchen scale. You know, believable <laughs> things. Oh my Look, God. you'll probably just draw the card anyway. Give it a shot. Behold! The card that Kaiba gave me. Fiend Sanctuary! What? Impossible! You drew the card without even looking at it? Yes! What? Kiss! Is that... You said yes? Kiss! Kiss? It, it sounds like you're just saying gay! No, Merrick, I am saying kiss! Are you trying kiss? to make it sound more dramatic or something by slurring your words? Because it doesn't really work. Not so fast, Merrick. You're not even what? speaking English at this point! And now watch as I summon my metal fiend to force your winged dragon of Ra to attack you instead of me! What? Now! Yes! Kiss! Now, what? I used my diffusion magic card to separate myself. How can you use it during us cancelling my attack? Heart of the cards? More like heart of my ass. I don't think I want to believe in that. Now I sacrifice my metal fiends to summon Obelisk the Tormentor. Wait. The card that I won from Kaiba. Oh. Thanks for not being butthurt about that, by the way. Fuck you. You're welcome. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Uh, let's play something else. How about rock, paper, scissors? Okay, I choose rock. What do you choose, Merrick? Um. Sorry, rock beats on. Are you having fun yet, Merrick? Oh, believe me, oh, boy. Pharaoh. I haven't even begun to enjoy myself. 
Oh, goody. Now, my metal reflect slime will make an exact replica of your obelisk. That's Why? No way. Where did you no get a shiny way. obelisk? Did you catch that from my friend Safari? <laughs> no, I friend Safari. He just saw me use my metal reflect slime. We should trade. Let's trade. I just gave you that card. <laughs> Don't fucking trade it. I'ma trade it. No. Uh, I'ma trade all it. you can do is wait for me to re-summon my winged dragon of Ra, and then this game is over. I'll throw in a fiend sanctuary for that shiny obelisk. Don't you dare trade oh my, my fiend sanctuary. I'ma trade it. No. Everybody shut the f*** up and be intimidated by me. I'm scared. Great, look what <laughs> you did. Scared. You scared Tristan. Are you happy? Yes, I'm very f***ing Whoa, happy. I'm the hap hap happiest kid in the world. I feel like I'm in f***ing Legoland right now. What it's do bleeding you do? I could just explode with happiness. That's just how f***ing happy I am. You don't look very happy. Ah! What's up, oh bro? It's me, Maddock. Since I'm about to die, I thought I'd come tell you, uh... No. You were the greatest brother I've ever had. And you weren't such a bad henchman, either. Is there anything you want to say to me? Maybe along those lines? Maybe mm. something like, Maddock, you are the finest man I've ever known. You are the sexiest villain of all time. And I will always admire you and oh, no. do your bidding, even in death. You know, something like that, only more of that. Good talk, Odeon. Oh, by the way, I left some gummy bears in my room. Gummy bears! Have you guys ever noticed gummy that Jimmy starts acting like a different person when he duels? That's because he is a different His person. His voice gets all deep and he seems to grow taller. That's because he's a different person. It's really weird. You're really weird. I guess we'll never really <laughs> know why that happens. Pano, behold my victory. At long last, I will have justice. And the Tomb Keeper lineage will be avenged! You know, Marek, it's okay to be a giant bitch, but you don't have to be such a giant bitch about it! Master Marek! Odeon! 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 Master Odeon? Marek! Marek! Ferro! Master Marek! Odeon! Marek! Ferro! Seto! Yugi! Master <laughs> Marek! Tristan! <laughs> <laughs> it's over, it Tristan yelled his own name. Ragnarok! Now the spirits what? of all the monsters in my deck will combine to defeat your Egyptian god. What? So prepare yourself, Marek, for the biggest bear hug of your life. No! No! I know I said I wanted a hug, but I didn't mean it like this! Wow. Ask you, I know this music. Marek's God card. That means that Marek's evil half is gone too. Have you oh, guys no. ever noticed that Yugi seems different when he duels? It's so weird. What? What is the meaning of this? I spy with my little eye something beginning with what the f***. No. 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 Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. No! What? It's Mar funny because it's from the internet. Merrick got his... Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul. Seal your doom tonight. Jeez, Bacola, close your mouth. You're getting spaghetti everywhere. <laughs> uh, didn't your mother ever teach you how to eat? Oh, she died? Probably from embarrassment because you can't eat frigging spaghetti. Oh, man. That was a very solid episode. Muerte piñata. Muerte means dead. Pretty sure. And Joey's face here is just amazing. Uh, Yugi was just like making laughing with bronze metal the entire mod the entire opening. Just kept laughing. Uh, and Joey la Joey lied and said he beat Kaiba. I'm sure he did. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Everything's going everywhere. That's probably why he was able to draw. Kaiba's card. <sighs> Epic throw. Oh man. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Can I shuffle without looking? Probably, right? It's not that hard. I don't know if I can do it like this, though. I shuffle. And yeah, Yugi's. There were less cards to draw, so of course he was able to draw the card he needed. Isn't there. Is there some sort of magic card that just does like. 500 life point damage to your opponent because 
Part of the cards would be just drawing that and using it on Merrick. Uh, when you went down to one life point on purpose. Pretty weird. And the fact that he's able to combine with the... I forgot which... The chicken one. The chicken god card. What the heck is that? Oh, man. You see, I don't want to see Merrick or Yugi die. Or get sh sent to the Shadow Realm. They're... Yugi is a good person. Merrick is evil only because of his conditions. Like, if he was born into a normal family, he, I think he might be fine. This Melvin character, though. Uh. Believe in the heart of the cards. We've been talking about it for three seasons. <laughs> Freaking Tristan internal interrupting their inner monologue. So why could they hear each other? Is it just because they're in the, the purple realm? <laughs> And yeah, that makes sense. Totally makes sense. And what does fusing with the god chicken do? Ups its life, uh, its attack points, I guess. I don't know. And believe in the heart of the cards. And fiend something or other, making him attack himself, and then. But he he attacked. Was this Marek's turn? Who it when? Okay, was this Marek's turn when Yugi activated that? No, because you can only activate magic cards on your own turn, right? So then, when he active when Yugi activated the metal thing, how can Marek activate this whatever I forgot what it's called defusion or whatever? How did he do that on the same turn? Uh, weird. And obelisk, <laughs> I'ma trade it. I'ma trade it. Yeah, the the, the freaking. The animation for Melvin is very creepy and yikes. Even this is a little weird. Yugi's face is a little weird. Just the angle it's looking at, his forehead is so much wider than his chin. That's the famous face I've seen for a long time. <laughs> Everybody make your quick, make your <laughs> your best Marek face. <laughs> I give up. Alright, shiny obelisk. I'm gonna trade for it. I'm gonna trade it. As well as Fiend Sanctuary. Don't you dare. I'm gonna trade it. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like Marek is bleeding back into Melvin here. Oh god, that's creepy. It's not scary at all. It's not like even like cringeworthy. It's just like, wow, that looks disgusting. Uh, Tristan. Everybody's yells, yelling out each other's names, and Tristan's just like, Tristan! Uh, he felt left out. Nobody was saying his name. I guess Odeon... Ragnarok just combines all of them pow. I gotta look up this card, seriously. This is this sounds ridiculous. Alright, I'm looking up right now. Ragnarok Yu-Gi-Oh card. Alright. What does it actually do? Activate only when there are two of Dark Sage, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, or Magician of Black Chaos on the field. Remove... From play, all monsters from your hand, deck, and graveyard. Destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Okay, that's... Not exactly what it was here, but I can see how that kind of worked. But then you'd be left with zero monsters on your side of the field. Like, at all. That's a big gambit. And Merrick seems perfectly fine, despite having lost his body for a very, very long time. Yugi's almost completely gone. It'll be interesting to see how this wraps up. I thought this would be the f final episode of this arc, but uh, maybe we'll have one more to wrap up this duel and then one more to wrap up the arc. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sorry this was a little late. I've been very tired, very busy, and uh, hopefully the next episode will come soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye, friends.